Hey everybody, wave goodbye to Brown Yoshi, because now we have a more interesting color. I'm not gonna miss him. Also a more interesting level. Hey man. <laughs> do you do you wanna you know touch okay, the fuzzy? I don't, uh... <laughs> I don't know man, I've I've heard some bad stuff about this. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun video. <laughs> okay, that's enough for me, I won't do it anymore. Thank you. It was just you. It's a real shame. By the way, your tongue can't hit the flowers, and I'm so sad for that. Yoshi doesn't eat the flowers! He puts them in his room! He... does he have a room? Here's a, uh, an invisible one, and you can actually see it now. They're semi-visible. Ooh, block. Game mechanic! I did not know that you could do that. <laughs> yep, when you hit the little ball guys, they can roll, and they're basically the only thing you can use to destroy those fuckers, except for more of those fuckers. Yeah, I thought those fuckers were, like, completely invincible. Oh, speaking of things to throw at those fuckers, the uh, flashing egg mechanic returns, and so does a little thing where, if you didn't notice, you couldn't see that th that uh, wing block at all until we destroyed that. That was gonna, that's gonna come up a lot later in the game. Sounds annoying. Kind of yes, but if you know where it is, you're good. Much like many things in video games. <laughs> this is a weird one. It's a weird one, but it's actually easier than that damn balloon game. Oh, well, yeah, cause that balloon one seems really weird, but... The balloon one's ridiculous. This is a weird in a different way. Yeah. I don't know if that... If you can just get on top of this guy, he's, like... like this This game's pretty easy, The balloon honestly. one is weird to, like, win. This one just, like, has a weird concept. Yeah. <laughs> there's, like, there's a cannon throwing coins, and you gotta get him first, and... I'm feeling very greedy. <laughs> that bandit's pretty fucking greedy. Of course he is, he's a bandit. Well, I mean... I think I see something in the that's, sky. That's a little racist of you. Actually, I was Bandits just aren't a race. getting rid of my eggs. <laughs> they are in Mario. Yeah, they probably are in Mario, come on. You gotta kinda, you gotta be careful when you throw those eggs, because if you miss, you basically just have to restart the level. There's no getting that coin back. I think. Game design! It's also possible to get trapped in here, I've noticed. <laughs> I mean, in the sense that you have to die to get out, but... Like, if you ground pound the one to the left, and or the one to the right of where I did it, and don't have any eggs, then Yoshi can't actually jump out from the top of that. Also, right. I had a really good idea here. Oh, okay. smart. Yup. Good thinking. I'm patting myself on the back for that one, even if it was just four completely unnecessary star points. Every every point counts. <laughs> yeah, especially where we're going. It becomes a lot easier to get hit for certain reasons. Oh boy. <laughs> Welcome to the probably most famous section of the entire game, even though it lasts for like less than a minute. I figured I'd get the most out of it. Yeah, I was gonna say, you, you, like, it's probably possible to, like, not get hit, but, like, come on. <laughs> yeah, you could that's... dodge these, but why would you want to? Yeah, that, that's for, like, shitty speedrunners. Like, we know how to have fun. My eyes are um... exactly like that right now. <laughs> it always, it kind of annoys me that Yoshi has perfectly normal eyes when he, uh, is in the air, but then you land, and it's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Focus. Nope. So, I was on a cruise ship once, and it was pretty much exactly like this. <laughs> I would imagine so. Being dizzy actually makes it a lot easier to get that flower. It's a little... Obvi <laughs> obviously, you could just, you know, use your flat, use your, uh, egg. It's a little depressing that, that fuzzies seem to die when you, when you touch them. Yeah, well, you know, they're just spreading the love. It's their gift. It's what they live for. Well, I was gonna say it's more like, like a, a self-defense mechanism. <laughs> can't eat Don't. all of us. Well, no, it's just like, you know, if a predator eats you, then, like, they can't <laughs> jump and they fall off the cliff nearby. They can totally jump. They get su they just get super dizzy. By the well, way, here's one of the right. first, like, complete bullshit secrets. Notice that we only have 16 coins. Or, red coins. I did notice that we are missing a jingle, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's because you have to throw an egg up in this completely oh, nondescript on. area. Yeah, like, 
So far, the game has been so good about giving you hints for shit. Yoshi's Island, what, what are you doing? But this is like one of those times, and it, it happens other times, but this is like the first egregious one. I would never have found that without a walkthrough. This is not what I expect from, like, this kind of game. <laughs> exactly, right? I mean, once you get up here, it's a, it's a nifty little puzzle that you need the chomp rock to make the invisible thing, or to make the invisible cloud show up. But you can figure that out. Like, you know, the, the pieces are laid out for you, but trying to hit the spring block is just ridiculous. Well, there's like little, so happy here. little dragonflies and butterflies and, <laughs> and good shy job. guys. And shy guys that I didn't notice. Don't worry though, no, I have do. a solution. You gotta do the bank shot. Pro egg throws. I the guess, best. I guess their camouflage was just really effective. It actually was. When you're not paying attention, that shit can get you. They're even like the I was gonna go explore that area, but I decided against it because I already lost my uh, perfect run once. They were even the right color, too. <laughs> exactly! They were like, like 95% index. <laughs> oh, you're nailing these! I know, right? I didn't actually realize I had such a good run. That was like the entire back end of this of this world. Oh yeah. Look at all of that. And all of that. All of those totally useless points. Hush you. We we start getting stuff. Ooh. When you make your way up to seven and eight hundred points, one. you start getting like actual prizes instead of one ups. <laughs> so that's cool. Oh this again. Yup. Don't get too greedy. <laughs> <laughs> I say as if, you know, you didn't already record this. <laughs> See, that was not greed. That was just bad luck. Yeah, that was... <laughs> that would've done that In this too. world, is there truly a difference? <laughs> it also automatically takes you to the score screen when you get a bonus, or the other bonus. We'll just check that out, but it's not all that interesting, because we may have just done this. <laughs> oh. Come on, game, come on! <laughs> It, they, they always give you the same bonus challenge for each world. This is just the bonus challenge for World 1. <laughs> so good. Uh, okay, quit, quit. I'm debating going for it, and then I do, and it pays off. Yeah, that's, that's enough. <laughs> but not anymore. 50-50 is <laughs> about as low as I go. I know, my, I know how probability works. Time to punch out. <laughs> See you next time for a climactic final castle against, um... It's not very climactic. Yeah, you're right. A bunch of little balls. You can't even remember his name. <laughs> no, no, I know his name is Salvo, but oh. I just couldn't think of a funnier name for him because I'm terrible. Yeah, you are. <laughs>